Last March, I was on vacation with my sisters. One of my sisters, Tricia, had a constant dry cough. She was over 40 and an ex-smoker, so I told her to go get checked out soon. Two months later, on May 6, Patricia died. She was only 44. Despite the very best efforts of the doctors at UT Health Center, my sister never had a chance against the lung cancer that took her life. Cancer doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care what you look like. It doesn't care how much money you have. My advice to you, take care of yourself and your loved ones. Seek medical advice if you have any questions or concerns. Early diagnosis is critical and support cancer care and research right here in East Texas. If it hasn't already, sooner or later, cancer will touch you too. And research is the best tool we have to fight this insidious disease. Patricia and I and our family, thank you. Through many types of research, our understanding about how to prevent and treat cancers is constantly growing, and we want our patients to benefit from this new knowledge as quickly as possible. Carefully designed, well-performed research is essential in the fight against cancer. We have dedicated good people involved in this effort here at the Health Center, and that increases our likelihood of success. I think that we have all the major components to make this a great cancer center. We have the basic science research, and then we have the clinical aspect, which is surgery, access to radiation and radiation oncology, and then we also have the chemotherapy component. So when you combine all of these together, we are a very strong candidate to have everything that is needed for the comprehensive treatment of cancer in East Texas. How does a perfectly normal, healthy cell turn into a sick and sometimes deadly cancer cell? Is it environment or genetics? Is it caused by the food we eat, the air we breathe, or a family predisposition? The answer, yes it is. Our bodies are made up of trillions of tiny cells, healthy cells that grow, divide, and then die on schedule. Cancer cells forget to die. They continue to grow and divide and spread. One malignant cell becomes two, two become four, and by the time cancer is detected, it's likely that 100 million to 1 billion cancer cells are present in the body. So how important is cancer research to each one of us? In our lifetimes, it's the best weapon we have in turning cancer from a leading cause of death into a group of chronic but manageable diseases. The mortality rate from cancer in East Texas is higher than the average in Texas. The incidence of cancer in East Texas is higher than the average rate for Texas. Cancer is a serious problem in East Texas. Well, because we haven't solved the problem of cancer, it's the second leading cause of death in the, in the U.S., uh, we have a lot more work to do. I want to see us have greater survival in East Texas. I want to see us have a lower incidence of cancer in East Texas and I want my institution to play a role in making that happen. Research is extremely important for cancer care because this is how we find out about our new treatments, what works and what does not work. All of our cancer researchers have NIH funding for the work that they do, and as difficult as it is these days to secure NIH funding and keep it, this is perhaps the best measure of the success of the work. It is competitive, it is all innovative, it's all cutting edge. Dr. Rakesh Srivastava and his wife, Dr. Sharmila Shankar, have devoted their careers to the science behind cancer treatment and prevention, and they truly believe they are close to a breakthrough. We have been successful in developing some compounds. They kill cancer cells. And we have had very exciting results, which show us that they really work the way one would like to see in preventing cancer. Remember, cancer cells forget to die. So the chemotherapy of today works to kill diseased cells, but it sometimes kills healthy cells too. Dr. Srivastava has identified a small organic molecule that tells cancer cells to die without damaging normal cells. 
We think we are the first one to identify compounds that will especially bind to death receptor which are expressed only on cancer cells. Our next step is to find drug companies which are interested in developing these compounds who are willing to do clinical trial. The scientists also believe that the answer to attacking cancer lies with both anti-cancer drugs and the cancer preventing agents found in natural substances like wine, green tea, broccoli, and even curry powder. We have been working on chemopreventive agents, especially because they are non-toxic. My real focus is on presently on curcumin, which is a component of turmeric, a curry powder. Hopefully, we should be seeing something really exciting as far as the cure for cancer is concerned. My expectation is that out of laboratories like those laboratories at UTHCT, we are going to see an explosion of new knowledge that will allow us to continue to improve the quality of life for cancer patients. If you look at the natural history of the major breakthroughs that have occurred in American medicine, uh, really start in small labs funded by R01s, very much like these investigators. So I think that the chances are just as good at major breakthroughs coming through here as anywhere. Earlier this year, Dr. Usha Pendurthi received a renewal grant from the National Institutes of Health worth just under $1 million. Her focus is on the role blood clotting plays in the spread of metastatic breast cancer. Why do they clot in the first place if they have cancer? But cancer cells express a lot of clotting factors on the surface of these cancer molecules that enter the bloodstream. Using genetically engineered cancer cells, Dr. Pendurthy's goal is to stop the cancer cell from moving into the bloodstream and spreading the disease to other parts of the body. The primary tumor may be in the breast or a lung, but it eventually ends up in a bone or some other organ that eventually kills the patient. What excites Dr. Pendurthy about her research? The work we are doing is highly competitive. Our competitors are in places like San Diego, Scripps Clinic, and Harvard, and we truly compete. That makes me feel proud, and I will keep working. Maybe I am the one who is going to find a cure. So that's what makes me come to work every day.